Hello Team Leo, this is Empire333 here with your love reading. Welcome back and Happy New Year. I hope you're all well and safe wherever you are on planet Earth. Um, Leo, for those of you who are new, keep in mind I am doing extended readings. I might extend this video. If you resonate with Whatever I'm saying, you can follow me down below. It's under the video. The link is there um, to press, and then it'll take you to purchase the video. I'm, I made it affordable for everybody. And what else? Um, for Also, for those of you who are new, I do feminine energy on one side, masculine on the other. So keep that in mind. It's just energy. It's not gender-based. All right, let's get into it. So Leo, I feel that you're coming out of some confusion, okay? When you think about this person, whoever you're watching this video about or whoever comes to mind, it's like there was a lot of confusion surrounding this connection. You have a lot of questions on your mind and I feel that for some of you, you're coming out of this already, okay? You went through the phase where you're like, what the heck just happened? It's that kind of um, that kind of feeling that you have. And it's now you're realizing that, you know, it's kind of like it's like you're thinking, the way I was before, was I just seeing a facade? Was this person real? Was this person the person that I was caring about or loving or whatever what what you what like image you had of them it's kind of like um it was all a dream you know you guys know that song it was all a dream i used to read word up magazine notorious big okay that's the song that is coming to mind so it's some of you are in acceptance that this person might have put like a facade, okay? So they might have given you this image of this, you know, connection, how it is, like that's how you feel, okay? So when it comes to the masculine, um, we got workaholic, okay? So this person's focus is a lot on work. It could be something actually, um, for some of you, what I'm getting is this person actually could be an alcoholic, Okay, that's not going to resonate with a lot of you, but this person has some sort of addictions or they focus on only one thing and that one thing is not this connection. Okay, so this is, I feel like past energy, but regardless, I do feel like this person does want to renew things with you. Okay, they could be missing an action um, right now, these readings are timeless, but keep in mind that it's everybody's going through it a different time, okay? But they do want to renew what you once had with them, okay? I know, I know, Leo. I hear you. <laughs> I heard what you just said. Okay, masculine energy. Let's get into the masculine. Okay, spirit wants me to pull one more card for you bittersweet so there there was a lot of times that things were it's like the good things came with the bad things in this connection okay so a lot of bittersweetness that you had with this person bittersweet moments okay and some of you it's like things were so good at a time that it's like then it's like as when things came in that were so good, okay? So it's like a lot of highs and the same time bad things came in, okay? Right afterwards. It's like that type of a relationship is what I'm getting or connection you had with this person. So let's get into the masculine energy here. Wow, okay. So this person feels like this connection came to stop, okay? So it came to a halt. Um, 
And it's because this person stopped giving in this connection. So I feel that this person, probably they stopped giving you, you know, um, like that emotional lovey-dovey, you know, um, ex loving expression, the care that they had. I feel that it stopped, okay? And the thing here is that this person, okay, is trying to manifest other things in their life. Regardless of the fact that this person, because I do feel like there were emotions involved. I don't feel like this was just like, you know, whatever. Like one of those connections casual that just come and go. I do feel like there was some sort of um, emotions involved. But at what's happening here is that this person is is busy manifesting other things. So it's like they're trying to get all the resources together. And I feel it has to do with their um, their career or their rank is what I'm getting, their rank. I don't know if this person's in the military. I know that's not going to resonate with all of you watching, but um, I'm getting military for some of you. But the thing here is that this person is trying to rise with whatever that they're in. So it's whether it's the career, the job, the rank, the image, whatever. And that's why it's like they haven't taken action towards you, okay? Some of you, this could be somebody new, you know. Obviously, um, for a lot of you, it's somebody from the past, okay? So let's see. Because we have the emperor here, and I feel like this person feels like they don't have what it takes yet to be in this connection, okay? Because they're focusing on... Like I said, their career, their job, their rank in society or in a community is what I'm getting to. OK, so some of you are dealing with someone who is trying to get up in the community. OK, so let's see for feminine here. Ooh, all right. Hold on, guys. Yep. I feel like this could be somebody from the past. You you closed the cycle, okay? So Leo, you could be you probably stopped reaching out to this person. You're not giving them um the time of day is what spirit is saying here. So you stopped reaching out to this person. You feel like you really learned a lesson though. You learned a lesson with this person. Some of you it's like it was the biggest lesson of your life. Um, and you closed it out. Okay. But at the same time, it's like, you're waiting, you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're like, you know what? I learned my lesson spirit. I learned it hard. Okay. So now you're waiting for your ships to come in and you're waiting for, for some of you, you're waiting for somebody new. Okay, but what's on your mind is you want something solid. You don't want to mess around anymore. Okay, not that you were messing around. Okay, but now when you look back to yourself, you're like, I'm not going to waste any more time. I want something solid. I want a commitment. I'm not going to entertain anybody who, who's, who's going to be different. Okay, I feel like for some of you, you really, um, started to value yourself more and value your time more. So I'm getting something with like, I'm not wasting my time anymore, okay? And some of you, that's why you're going within. You're not entertaining this person. You're not reaching out to them. You just are going within and you're realizing things about yourself. This is a journey. This is a learning experience for you because you've realized a lot about yourself during this time and it's great okay and spirit is with you you're being guided by the light is what i'm seeing so some of you could be really focusing on your spirituality and your healing at this time um spirit saying you've been through a lot so all those leas who've been through a lot put it down there like what you learned what in the comments below i'd love to know because i love to hear stories like that like I just got you were the underdog, you know, in whatever it was and what you accomplished because 
you are accomplishing things in your life, okay? So let's see what this person wants from this connection. Okay. Yeah. This person is really attracted to you. There's a lot of chemistry between you two. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay, so for some of you who this person was with someone else or they, you know, could have cheated on you, this is not going to resonate, okay? I'm getting two different types of readings here. So this person, um, I feel that even though if you, re you resonate with that scenario, even though they have someone else or they entertain someone else, they're still holding on to you. They're still holding on to you, okay? Um, this person also could have um, blocked you at some time and point, but it's kind of like, you know what's so strange? This person, if they entertain someone else, if they had a lover or whatever, call it what you will, it's like they still see you as their feminine they're divine feminine, okay? They still see your value. They could have probably not seen your value before, but they do now, okay? Um, so let's see. Hold on. What do they want to do with the feminine straight? What do they want to do? Yeah. Huh. Okay. So I feel like with this person, it's like they want to reach out to you and clarify some things, okay? But the thing here is that they're not ready, okay? So if you want this person, I don't know, Leo, do you still want this person? Um, this person here is about to make some type of judgment call. The thing is, is that they haven't made that decision. There needs to be a big decision made. With this person so for those of you whoever um whoever is in a situation with someone else or even the past i feel that they have not made a decision yet to come into this connection but i do feel like this person will reach out to you okay and it's because they acknowledge how happy you both can be together, okay? How it's like you could have been happy in the past with them. You know, you could have, some of you could have had a home with them. What I'm getting is like you might have lived with them. But at the same time, it's like they know that there needs to be a compromise, and it has a lot to do with this person's part, okay? This person has an ego issue, okay? But the thing here is that this person sees you definitely as their feminine energy. It's like you give them strength is what I'm getting. Um, let me see. Hold on, guys. I'm going to tell you. Yeah, I'm going to definitely extend this reading because there is a lot involved when it comes to this person's energy. Ooh, okay. Shut up. Okay, I'm definitely extending this reading. <laughs> okay, look at that, Leo. You got the star here. I have to show you all my stars, okay? Look at my stars. What do y'all think? Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I had to do that because I showed the other signs too, 
and I'm so fair. So um, this is like 10 of cups. This is what you want. And look at that. That's the star. Okay. That's healing. That's hope. That's wishes. Okay. So I feel like probability. It's kind of like, oh, okay. Spirit just said the stars are starting to align with you. Leo, listen up. The stars, I don't mean to yell, but I'm getting excited for you, okay? The stars are starting to line up for you is what spirit is saying and has a lot with, to do with you learning your lesson when it comes to this connection, okay? You having the strength to leave this connection, because I feel like a lot of you left or you like, you were like, um, you gave up cold turkey, that is really strong. That is being so brave on your part. And the fact that you went within, okay, and that takes a lot of bravery too because I feel like a lot of you, you really cared about this person or you still love them. Um, some of you emotions go really deep, but at the same time, it's like you had the courage to go within and do your, you know, your healing focus on your spirituality and so forth. So what I'm getting here is that the stars are aligning with you, okay? For those of you who want to follow me and see what this person is going to do next, and also for those of you who don't care if this person comes back or not, I'm still going to read for you what's coming in for you um, and also what to do when this person comes in and what to do with, with whatever that's coming in for you because... I'm getting, Leo, that like literally things are are lighting up for you is what I'm getting. So I think some really good things are on their way with you, on their way to you, okay? But it's up to you on how you handle the energy. And that's why I want to go into the extended with advice on what you should be doing, okay? So those of you who want to follow me, regardless whether you want this person or not, I mean, who knows? Maybe there's a new person coming in. We don't know. The cards will tell us, and so will spirit. So, um, Leo, I hope that this has helped you in some way. And I hope that, um, you know, basically, yeah. For those of you who want to follow me, just follow me down below in the description box. Don't forget to like. Let me know how this resonates with you in the comments below. And subscribe if you already have not. I wish you all the best, Leo. And I will see you all next time. Take care.